It's a Food Friday brought to you by U.S. Food Chef Store on St. Andrews Road. We've got our soup, salad, we've got our appetizer and our steak. Now we're moving on to dessert. Isn't that what everybody loves? You'd rather have it first, wouldn't you? We're at the Oak Table on the corner of Maine and Gervais. We've got Todd, the executive chef here, ready to bring us, now you said it's sort of like a, a French cobbler? Yeah, basically, it's called a clafoutis. Okay. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a cross between a cake and a cobbler. All right. Nice custardy cake. Show us how we do this. All right. So uh, we're going to take our berries and our peaches. That's what we're going to make this guy with. Just arrange them however. It doesn't need to be artful by any means. Just needs to Get have them all lot. in there. Yeah. You, wanna, <laughs> you always want to do this one in a cast iron pan. Okay. You're going to do a big one. We have these nice little crocs here that we use. Um, now you told us a secret about eggs. Yeah. When you crack an egg, most of us would look at this corner or this corner and say, okay, that's where I'm going to crack the egg. Yep. You said no. No, you always want to crack it on a flat surface. A flat surface. Now, why is that? Um, it, because of the way the, the shell breaks, it uh, holds more of it intact, and you end up with less shell in your cracked egg. So flat surface, and you can do it. Yep. Okay, so uh, we, got, we know how to crack our eggs now. Don't do it on the corner, okay? On now, a flat surface. Th now what are we doing? All right, so we got a little bit of uh, some Congaree milling blue cornmeal, some flour, some sugar couple of eggs. Just want to whisk them up really good. You guys, you want these guys to get a little bit of froth to them. Whip a little bit of air into it. Make for a nice lighter cake. You took care of those eggs. Oh yeah. <laughs> I beat them good. Once again, a pinch of salt. All right. Uh, most people don't think salt goes with desserts, but it actually helps round out the flavors really nicely. All right. So uh, in with your eggs. In with milk. Oh, that's beautiful. You just want to stir it until it's nice and homogenous. Everything's mixed well. Then you're just going to pour it over top. That looks wonderful. Dessert for one, right? Dessert for one, or two if you eat a small one. All right. We're going to go to uh, 375 degree oven. And thanks to the magic of television. Magic of television. Just happened to have one right here ready to go. How long do you cook this for? It takes about 25, 30 minutes. You oh. want to stick a, uh, a toothpick or something into it to test to make sure it's done. You All pull right. it out clean, you're good to go. Looks great. This guy is just best finished off. A little fresh dollop of whipped cream. It's a food Friday. We are at the Oak Table on the corner of Maine and Gervais. Todd, the executive chef here. Todd, you've been wonderful. This is great food. You know what Todd said? You guys are going to eat this, right? And I said, absolutely. Photog Ryan, he's already started eating this morning. So we are thankful for this uh, here at the, uh, the Oak Table, Food Friday. And we've got more coming up. We're going to sit down and talk about all the things that happen here and show you everything that we cooked this morning. It's a Food Friday, come on back.